This is Keepsakes, the podcast. I'm Jay Agonoy. It's time for the podcast and we are now on our 35th. Tama ba? Yes, 35th. 35th. I lost count. We are now 35 episodes in this podcast. And this is the post-Otako event. The Otako Fest. Otako Fest event the podcast. Aside from Serena, I now have Cebu's cosplay event buzzer, Gary Montejo. Hello, Bye. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Gary Montejo here, Cebu's cosplay event buzzer. Mm-hmm. Uh, apologies for the voice. Napagaw akong voice. Yet, Taiga 5 pa kami doon sa stage eh. Yeah. Yeah. Yan. All right, all right. Okay. Hello, and yeah, hello, fam. And yes, this is Serena. Sorry for the voice. I was... I went fun girl on pastel mix, high pastel mix, but yeah. But then again, this is the voice. This is the voice. This is the voice of exhausted people who are going to cons. Currently, we are uh, on queue for a taxi so that we can... We're supposed to continue... Uh, we're supposed to record our pods in the taxi or along the way, along... Uh, Uh, along the nearby restaurant so that we can get out of this place because SMC Side City Cebu doesn't allow public jeepneys because it's a private property. It's part of the South Road properties. All right. Okay. Post Otako Fest 2019 yeah, session. Let's talk about day one. Day one. Okay. Day one. Uh, ano, 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 so first ano, of all, um, okay, day one is was really a bit... Um, it actually started when... You know, Well, madami ang daming tao na talaga nung nasa no, mm-hmm. sa upper portion ng entrance feet, ng entrance. Mm-hmm. And then it's like okay, para medyo magulo, but uh, the good thing is about after pag pagsapit ng 10:30, ano na, nagbukas din na yung gate, nagbukas din na yung entrance, and then medyo ano pa rin, congested ang entrance at saka exit kasi one way na siya because of the fact yung katabi natin is Passport on Wheels DFA Catholic Passport on Wheels uh-huh. so, um, yes. I was I was also thinking kasi na uh, the mall opened at around before before 11.30 and uh, may crowd control din around sa area baga na ano doon sa mountain wing entrance mm-hmm. okay Yeah. So, may crowd control doon uh, understandable siya uh, pero the line has <laughs> Uh, stayed until afternoon. That is so true. Uh, yeah. it, you know that line was really overwhelming. Na pa, para feeling ko na yung from the from the very door na, uh, na entrance at the exit ng Otaku Fest ng day one hanggang sa pinaka dulo ng building. <laughs> na next, it really it's really jam packed as in it's really crazy. Na okay, wow, this is. This is something big. This is really something big actually. Uh, Dante ba may pila na ganito sa subo? Actually, meron naman din. Pero, yeah. ano, uh, Knowing to be... Knowing that Otaku Fest was usually held in an open field. Diba? Yes. So, it's not really yeah. that... Uh, um, for my understanding, parang hindi mo felt yung the uncongestedness in because way, it's so... In a way, yes. So, parang, it was about as a, as a gun-goer for Otaku Fest uh, since last year and, you know, for the... Uh, you know, for almost every year. Um, when yung last year na na outdoors... I can actually feel na madami talaga ito kasi even hanggang alas dos ng hapon meron pa rin nakapila kasi I guess it will it will depend kasi sa uh, ID uh, sa ticket pass yan eh meron kasi iba na nag-pre-register para i-convert yung ticket after they pre-register they convert their tickets kaya mahaba yung pila mm. hindi ba talaga pupunta lang ano parang the, ano lang parang kakatch up lang talaga for for the afternoon kasi baka mamaya hindi na yun yun so For about as a con goer for Otaka Fest this year, I was really overwhelmed. Kasi, yun nga, this is a mall, and the fact that ang daming pumila talaga from the, yun nga, from the very point A to the point B or to the Z, ang dami talaga. It was really overwhelming. Alright, so uh, after the pila, we can now go in the entrance. Um, it's the layout is some, somehow uh, medyo confusing siya but then again it's the garden maze it's yeah. the first time it's being opened That's and um, uh, what I can say is so, siguro the food area is just uh, out of the way dun sa main stage kasi hindi pwede bumako there was a there was a food area there was a yes, there was a food area dun ako oh, more I than I did a, not know that because it's behind the merchandise areas oh yeah I, Yeah, doon ako more din na pizza. Meron din ano yung pizza at saka yung dinsum break at saka yung mga ano, yung mga pearl. 
Per 6 is uh, Flotas, the Flotas group of companies, Black Pearl, Flotas, and uh, yes. Juice Avenue. That now, really I think Dim Sum Break is famous in Cebu talaga, no? Yes, of course. And you know what? I would suggest Serena and Jay, I, I would, don't go home yet till you taste, uh, taste our, uh, our award-winning um, steam rice of the Dim Sum Break. Okay, As in, pag natikman nyo talaga, you can say na, babalik-balikan nyo. And talagang pupunta pa talaga kasi buhanapin nyo yun. Does it feel like the Hainanese rice of Singapore? Hindi naman. It's just that talagang masarap talaga. Though I am not, though I don't have any comparison kasi hindi ka rin natikman yung ano, yung sa Singapore. But then again, if people would from Singapore would come over here, wow, daring eh. Pero yeah, if you can come over and have a taste of dim sum break, um, steam rice, ang sarap talaga. Uh, what else should I taste sa Sugbo? Meron ba sa Manila yung ngoyong at saka puso? Ah, uh, puso? Ngoyong at saka puso sa Manila. I think, Jay, you haven't tasted that, right? I haven't tasted that. I haven't tasted that. I have no idea about that. Well, what, perhaps, you know, pag may after extra free time ka, have a taste of our ngoyong and puso. Puso. Okay, sige. Can you, can you, send, me a, uh, can you send me a link about that sa, one, sa destination? I think, um, nag-fail na naman yung grab. So, yeah, we're still on the line in the taxi queue. Right. Uh, okay, so that's for the first part, perhaps. <laughs> okay, we're, we're, we're still way, way early sa ating... Uh, uh, way, way... Uh, way early sa ating uh, break. But uh, again, uh, let's... It's not common. Ayan. So, so I'm back. <laughs> so, yes. Ayan. We're recording this on the spot right here at the Taxi Queue at SMC Side City Cebu again. Ganun talaga sa Jay. Very resourceful. Amazing. Uh-uh. Uh, let's do what we can do because we're, ano eh, uh, it's my time. Uh, of course, marami ang kusong gawin dito sa Sugbo. Uh, hindi, ko, hindi ko nagawa noong first time ko sa, ano, noong first time ko ka sa, ano, I think that these are blank spaces pa, no? Yes. Usog tayo. Anyways, going back to attack mo. Sige, alright. Uh, let, uh, let Gary handle the mic, no? Sige, okay. Gary, oh, going back okay. to Otaka Fest, what do you So, ano? let's discuss about, um, ano ba, yung walk-in cosplay competition for solo. For walk-in cosplay competition, I think, um, like, there were, like, a few numbers of cosplayers who actually competed. And uh, for some reason, I also joined the competition and lost. Mm. Yeah. But it was really an honor for, for me to compete. And uh, to be judged by uh, Kai and, Sa- and Sergio. Sergio, the, the, the Team Sekai. Team Sekai is uh, one of the guests dito sa Otako Fest alongside uh, Japanese cosplayer Rika. Yes. So, yun nga. It was, um, it was uh, a small amount of cosplayers who attended. Because maybe kulang din ang information then, Or maybe uh, kulang ang hype. But one thing's for sure, um, it was really fun. I got to meet a lot of cos- uh, new cosplayers. Some of the cosplayers are from Bacolod and Iloilo. Mm. Iloilo, of all places, ah? Huh? Of all places? Yeah. Of all places, Iloilo. So how are they? Oh, they were really fun to be with. And also, they really are very creative. And they're really good. Mm. Uh, just, like, um, just like other cosplayers all over the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. So, um, okay. Um, shall we talk about how many cosplayers joined the competition or na? Well, na wag na wag na na wag na no. I think it's sabi ko rin ng mga mga seven or something. Seven or But that's okay. But what thing I really want to comment and we do we all do respect with the organizers. I hope that we could they could get a a better host uh, during every cosplay segment. Kasi with all honesty, na hirap panding kasi sila na ganon. You know, Ah, ano nababasa ng pangalan, pang- oh, pangalan whenever, we, uh, whenever they talk whenever they uh, introduce the next cosplayer they would say that yung uh, Todoroki or Bukunayar or kanina yung mahina talaga yung pronounce yeah, hindi uh, sila familiar eh. yes I, ha- I actually have to agree on that so baka it would be best that they should get a host na at least knowledgeable of That's some true. of the some of the known franchises and uh, at least knows how to pronounce the Japanese oh. names better Mm. Yung talaga na kahit hindi talaga sa culture yeah. or not only for anime but also gaming. Mm. Kasi meron din iba na characters na 
So, may ibang jokes sila na only understandable for normies. I'm so sorry, ah. Pero, yeah. <laughs> Mga nine-year-olds baga, ma'am. Uh, oh, my God. Pero they did, pero so, by, but in all fairness with a new host, with a host, they did admit na uh, pasensya, we're not really, uh, we're not really familiar on how the culture works with the, in, yeah, with in cosplaying. Yeah. Ganyan, ganyan. So, so yun yeah, parang in advance na, okay, pasensya, we might have some jokes that might be off for you. Yeah. Ganyan. But of course, not everyone can actually get to, you know, yeah. was some... able to hear that, so. Yeah. Right. Okay, so uh, after the cosplay competition, uh, let's go proceed to day two. I guess, uh, ano pa ba nangyari sa day one? Well, dami nangyari sa day one. Sige, uh, go. You go, you go, tell him. Well, there was Asia Pop uh, dance competition. Dance competition. There was also J-Pop uh, singing Sing competition. Pop. Well, with all, well, but what I really want to highlight in is the fact, as a cosplayer, Reka made a craft workshop, craftsmanship workshop for day one. And that was really... Empowering to be honest, because hands on she don't direct show. Hands on she. We didn't know, ano, um, how to make a kimono, and that was, uh, and also tell about the history of kimono and the tips and tricks for for clothing costumes. That was really empowering for us cosplayers, because, ano, it just simply shows that you know idols or even famous cosplayers are really willing to share and impart whatever they want to share to the community not only from their country but also to other country I, uh, I almost forgot this ano, I, I forgot to ask this during uh, our interview with, uh, with uh, Reka Reka San ano, um, she and I think it's Itsuki Akira uh, have their own company called 12 Company and they handle kumbaga, the business is basically uh, to serve as a uh, handler for bookings na mga international cosplayers na uh, which uh, are I believe uh, either part or not part of the Kaname is also yes Kaname is also there so they they did that they, they, they're now kumbaga from cosplay as a hobby they now turned cosplay turned into a business which is, which is good mm-hmm. I have no I have nothing against that but yeah it's pretty awesome no mm-hmm. Again, um with yeah, that's so. yes yeah yeah and then, then not only that um you know reka is like i'm not really a fan of reka but uh, i really it, i it gave i gave it parang nasobra ko siya respeto because of ano because of her move to educate or to teach uh cosplayers how to you know to, have, to learn about the culture of and the history of kimono making and also what are the tips and tricks and how to do it and that's really empowering as a cosplayer so thank you Reka and also God bless uh, Otako Fest yun yung plus points na pwede ko ma-share kay sa inyong lahat that Otako Fest is really um, you know actually showing providing new uh, innovations as well new activities that you know it's not something to look forward to mm-hmm. and, and speaking of Otako Fest here is Sonia I think I see Sonia yeah. The organizer. Ayan, Miss Sonia is here. All right. Si the executive organizer. And ma'am. Ah oh, sa pipila sa taxi ma'am. Ayan. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Sonia Vidal. Uh oh. Ma'am, we're recording for the Keepshakes podcast na. Yeah, we're having the Keepshakes. Uh oh. Would you like to have an opportunity to talk or something? Ayan. Oh, sige. Pag baka ano? First of all, we would like to say thank you very much, Sonia. It was very very great for both day one and day two. It was Those, an honor also. Yeah, it was yeah, honor. It was an honor to be one of our, ano, uh, one of your media partners. Oh. Yes. Really. Great. Okay, so um, this is Keep Six a Podcast and uh, uh, everything will, uh, this will be posted on anchor.fm slash keep six, ma'am. Ano, uh, ayun. So uh, with that said, thank you po. Uh, we shall take, uh, you shall take, uh, ano ba yun? Magpapahingay naman uh, namin kayo, ma'am. Right. Uh, congratulations. Let's look forward to Monday. I was saying thank you for our name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Sige. Okay. We, we are proceeding with our discussion. Uh, Ga, ano pa ba na mention? Hindi natin na mention sa day one. That's it so far. I think, it's, I I think we, we've covered everything on day one. So let's go to day two. Okay. All right. The, day two. The, whole, the big enchilada. The big enchilada. It's, this, this is the big uh, dessert. Wait, uh, before we, okay, we go, sorry, sorry, you know, before we proceed back to day number, uh, before we proceed to day number two, 
Um, you know, this, uh, there's, a, there's an event that's really, that's not really part of Otako Fest. It's the first meeting of Keep Six and also Lily Cat and also Cebu Cosplay Event Buzzer. Uh-huh. That was something really cool. And Cebu X Kicks. And Cebu X And Che Adamson. I, I learned a lot with Che Adamson, ah. Yeah, she's, she's actually a fun person to meet with. She's, uh, yeah, yeah, diba? And, uh, diba? She cosplayed Alita. She cosplayed Alita. And that was face, that oh was face God. paint. Oh that was God, face paint. Face paint pa lang yun. Pinintuhan pa lang niya yung ano niya as parts. And yes, just and let, to let you know, my cosplay makeup came from her as well. Ayun. Yung makeup ko ng Gairo Dos Lasca nung day one and day two, it came from her. So it was really good. Ano, biruin mo pastel paint ang ginamit niya and it really looks like a makeup. Ganun kagaling si Agam Sunshine. Ayan. Uh, what we're looking right now, we're looking at the van. Uh, yan. Lori! Cong- ano, see ya, see ya. Congratulations! Lori May Mintal, Team Weapon and Mass Destruction. What Jay was looking at was the winner for pop the... Culture. Uh, pop culture. Pop culture. Pop culture. Pop culture. Sabi ko sa'yo eh. Which we're going to talk about right Ayan. now for day two. Wow. Ayan, day two. So, okay? Hindi. I mean, I, my mistake pala. No? Doon, doon ako sa, nasa tabaw kasi two major activities. Doon ako nasa bow. Two oh. major activities we have. Uh, World Coast Summit Philippines and Pop Culture. See you, see you. Yeah, and that was Ikosan from the Manila Shimbun. Yeah, po. Bye, Gary. Uh, ikaw na mag-handle. Sige, okay. Right. Yun. Uh, yan. Ladies, makakawin din tayo. <laughs> okay. Ayan. We, I met a lot of great people dito, ah. That's good. Uh, to, to, to be quite honest, ah. Right. So, nagsisegway na tayo. We go back to day two. We have two major activities. Pop culture here, Ashima. Cebu uh, qualifiers, Philippine qualifiers na rin. And the World Coffee Summit, Cebu qualifiers, and preliminaries. And forget about the One Piece Day. That was really One good. Day, yes. yes, One wow. Piece Day. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That was really good. Oh uh-huh. my God. Okay. Masakay muna tayo? Sige, sakay muna tayo. And uh, again, uh, with me, Diego Noy, is Gary Montejo, Cebu Cosplay Event Buzzer, and Serena from the Lily Cat. Uh, special thanks kay Ayan, no? She's a good uh, card capture sa Kakos player. Um, also, uh, okay. Ayan. So, okay po. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. So, ay... Check, check ko lang yun. Okay, we're, we're 17 minutes pa lang sa ating uh, podcast, no? 16-17 minutes. That's good. We have a lot to talk about. Alright, day two. Ga... Uh, what can you say? I thought we're gonna take a break. Let's have a break. Ah, sige, let's have a break. Sige, go. Let's turn back on music. Uh-oh. Ayan. You wanna, you wanna record that we're actually riding a taxi right Yeah, yeah actually, it's, it's okay. It's actually okay. It's actually okay. It, it, it's, ano, kabaga, this is a very casual, candid discussion. And that's what the Keep Six Podcast is. Yeah. Anything goes. <laughs> Anything goes and, you know... And I hope that the listeners are can actually feel or be immersed about what we're doing, diba? Yeah, like, yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. We are currently riding a taxi heading over to McDonald's. Uh, just to just to get like this, uh-huh. and, just to get out of this place called SMC Sai City Cebu. Because I na banggit ko na kanina. Yung ano mga ano? Uh, typical, typical uh, tourist reklamo. Yeah. <laughs> typical tourist reklamo. No, no jeeps, no jeeps. Ayan. Ga yeah, day two. So day two. What? Uh, okay. So. Day two started with um, a ramen eating contest, I guess, yes. and then a lot of bands that came in. So we also have the One Piece Day, One when Piece One Piece Day, Day is like, uh, merong booth si ano, um, dedicated for One Piece, and then the the representatives or the, and also the judges or secret judges um, got to see all uh, cosplayers cosplaying One Piece. So during that time. Ano talaga? This segment is probably one of my favorites yes, of the day. Ang bilis noon. And that's how the organizer or whoever. Two miles. Miles and Blante. Go. And also yes. Yan and Daniel who cosplayed as right. Yung talaga nag-fast question siya. Talaga sa mga ano. And he's really knowledgeable. Impressive. He asked those questions. Talagang may sense na. May sense based on the character and the basis sa ano. Uh, just to, just to test the, their character. Talagang kinurate pa nila yung questions niya, eh, as they said. Eh. Ayun. Okay. So, One Piece Day, no? Uh, huh. Right. Uh, I, one of my favorite moments of One Piece Day is yung... Uh, every, everyone's on stage. Everyone's on stage. 
Especially the, yeah. the question Q&A, Q&A, you know, yeah. fast talk. Q&A, Q&A, it's not a Q&A, it's a fast talk. It's a fast, a lightning fast talk. round question where you have only five seconds to answer. Mm-hmm. If you fail to answer, that's a, a minus points to you. Mm-hmm. And then they they actually took the top three final uh, top three finalists for best male, best female, and also the showman. It dance to. Ano to yung best? Best, best, best female, best male, pirate, uh, pirate's choice. Uh, pirate pirate choice. Pirate's choice. Basically, Miles' choice. <laughs> yeah, sabi niya talaga yun. Sabi niya talaga yun. Uh, Miles' choice. Okay, that's totally fine. <laughs> nga. So, anyways, um, they got. I, I'm not really familiar with the One Piece characters, but they actually Miles and Blante made the right, and also the team of judges made the right choice of choosing those judges. Blackbeard, Blackbeard cosplayed though. by or the Giri Wasabi or RV Yap, who is famous for his you know photography in the Yu Yu Hakusho last year. Ah, that was, sh- sh- onigiri, that was Onigiri Wasabi. That was onigiri oh wasabi. my God, that was an honor seeing him on stage as Blackbeard. Grabe. He was a cosplayer. He was a cosplay cosplayed 2009. And he uh, took a break and he went to photography and he took pictures in Yu Yu Hakusho. But I know it's a segue tayo. But going back, it's not actually, you know, um, sa amin, uh, cosplaying Blackbeard for uh, as Onagiri Wasabi was like for me, okay, I know he cosplayed that. But you know what? Nung nandun siya sa stage, he made a lot of improvement on his costume from the, from the details, the accessories, from the... You know, from the from the guns, and also again, the personality really fits well to the character, which is I'm very impressed. Yes. Knowing na kabashmi kasi ano giri masabi, but you, of course, and then sino pa ba? Uh, who actually? Who else won? Um, Lara Garcia, who actually also cosplayed the one with the red hat. Oh. And then also sino pa? Um, yung nanalo sa God, a uh, showmanship. I forgot. Yung Mr. Ay, hindi yung tahimik the, the, Yung tahimik na guy oh, Si Corona ba yan? That's yeah. not Corona, yeah But it was cosplayed by Hinaro uh, Hinaro Jr. Who also is a famous cosplayer Who he actually cosplayed uh, Battle Geese uh, Zero Red Zero Oh. Yeah, so he's really good. Like that. so that's why when I when I actually when I discovered okay this guy is familiar okay he is an arrow and okay that's not that's not a surprise he de- definitely deserves to win that you know that award. So yeah. Anyways, going back to going back to One Piece, I hope that you know Otaku Fest, if you're listening right now, let's have I would suggest let's have a day theme on day two. Like for example, maybe you could have Fate Stay Day Two or Fate Fate Stay Day or maybe Boku no Hero Day or you know something that that will actually inf- reinforce the theme mm-hmm. of the of the anime mm-hmm. and uh, yeah there are some in all balances there are some feedbacks na I know that I that I heard that ah uh, but puro One Piece lahat ng mga characters but I guess they didn't get the memo that there's an announcement for One Piece today meron na meron na baga uh, meron baga yan it's just that uh they didn't notice um, on the other hand kasi is, uh, pag sinabing One Piece uh, this coincides with the up, uh, uh, up, uh, I think it's ongoing na na One Piece Cosplay Grand Prix oh, ng yeah. Cosplayers that Global which oh, is yeah. basically yes, World Cosplay Summit Ayan, so and also it's coinciding with the TV broadcast the anniversary of the TV broadcast at One Piece 10th year 15th year Yeah. Ayun, mga ganun, ano? Ayan, so uh, 15, uh, kung 15th year anniversary na ng Fate at uh, hindi sumakto sa ganito baka magkaroon ng fate day sa Otaku Fest but uh, wh- 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 whichever we know uh, no, the... I mean what are the possibilities that the feedback of our cosplay community has a very positive reception on day 2 and having a themed cosplay on day 2 you know who knows what are the chances of you know implementing that by Otaku Fest and you know Otaku Fest is really known uh, is also famous by having their own team did you know that Otaku Fest like had a for all villains then old school then all magic and you know anything goes and that's why I can say that Otaku Fest is right now at this year is definitely evolving to something better and more brighter <laughs> sabihin nga natin eh ba, ano pa what else ayun so, alright so pop culture here Hiroshima Philippines uh, national finals uh, and skip tayo agad sa Cebu qualifiers no? nationals agad and uh, world cosway summit Philippines Cebu preliminaries 
Okay, um, what I can tell because I've uh, medyo nag-skip-skip ako dyan sa mga events na yan, ano? Yes. Uh, to either take a break or get some food or whatnot. Um, World Cosby Summit Philippine Civil Qualifiers is for, uh, as always with any World Cosby Summit qualifier. Worth it. Worth, worth it, it talaga. Worth it talaga. I can say that, yeah, actually, it was a refreshing uh, take on uh, competition format of the, all the cosplay competition I've seen. So, talagang kakanta ka or it's either you sing that's pop culture then, Hiroshima pop culture Hiroshima like okay this is how it goes pala okay uh, maybe next year I'm hoping that the Cebu cosplay community would have a, an official entry for you know, representatives rather uh, for pop, pop culture Hiroshima yeah. and then I like you know what I what's so notable that, that I really love about one of the entries sa final sa finals is yung Dian Angel I think Serena will also agree oh, yeah. classic yeah, sure. kayo we'll talk event. about let, let's is it, is, it, is it time that we talk about the team who did the DNA okay. team, team or we're still going to go pop culture to... Hiroshima muna tayo siguro oh, sige, ano, pop culture sige. Hiroshima oh, team pop culture Hiroshima is the one that had an incident that's nothing you yeah, want yeah, to talk yeah. about okay, right? we, will go, so, we will go into that so let's okay. talk about let's talk about that DNA Angel group. Oh, DNA Angel. Angel. Actually, I was ordering food for us na at that time na nagpe-play yung DNA Angel. So, ah, yeah. It was really good. Oh my God. Like, first few seconds of that skit and I was like, they crushed my heart in a nostalgic way. Yeah, in okay, little the, tiny bite-sized pieces, no? Yeah. The, like, the, the nostalgia feels, bruh. Mm-hmm. Nostalgia, bruh. Okay, let us introduce the team behind all oh, that yeah, madness. This is... This is Team, uh, weapon, web, team weapon, weapon and mass destruction. destruction. Wow. <laughs> if you are a regular of following following WCSPH, the, this team is always notable. And now they've always wanted to represent the Philippines for Japan, and then this is their year. And here in McDonald's. Yeah. All right. Right. So, okay, um uh, while uh, we're taking off, ano, let me tell you uh kumbaga para kasi na, na sila sa ano, I don't, um, uh, may, I don't have uh, wait, uh, Okay, yan, mga, mga ano natin ano. So, that's 26 minutes of our podcast. I'll be uh, cutting this off, ano? Ayan. So, ang teaser natin is yung day 2 Pop Culture Hiroshima Philippines World Cosplay Summit Philippines. See you in the next episode. Hear you in the next episode, rather, kasi dili nyo ako makikita, no? <laughs> yeah. Alright. That wraps up another episode of Keepsakes, the podcast. New episodes can be heard on anchor.fm slash keepsakes, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. You can follow me on Twitter at jagonoy. More updates will be posted on facebook.com slash keepsakes by Jay. Leave your voice messages using the Anchor app available on Google Play and the App Store. Shout out to Lee Rose Bear for the music. Thank you for listening to the podcast and I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.